Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example is calculate the volume in gallons of four circular tanks with a cone. Now our problem reads as follows. The dimensions for each tank is as follows. Treatment tank TT, treatment tank 11, which is TT11, is 7 feet in diameter and 9 feet tall. TT12 is 7 feet in diameter and 10 feet tall. TT13 is 7 feet in diameter and 10 feet tall. And TT14 is 7 feet in diameter and 11 feet tall. Now some other information in the problem is that each tank has a 2 foot freeboard and an additional three foot cone at the bottom of the tank. So we have to take all this information for these four tanks and we've got to calculate the volume in gallons. So the basic formula for that, basic structure of the formula for that, is going to be gallons equals gallons of the cylinders plus gallons of the cones. So that's the basic structure. So we're going to take the gallons of the um, cylinders plus the gallons of the cones. And we're going to put them all into one formula in an Excel spreadsheet. Now we got a couple of things that we got to take into consideration. First of all, we've got to recognize that this is a cylinder, it's a circular tank, it's a cylinder. Um, and the formula is a little bit different than if it was a rectangular or a cone, uh, a rectangular or a square tank. Uh, another thing we got to take into consideration is that because we're calculating the volume in gallons and we have a sidewall tap depth plus, which is the feet if the tank is tall, that's the sidewall depth. Um, but we also have a freeboard, and that's the um, depth or the height of the tank for which there is no water. So we have to incorporate the freeboard into the into the problem so that we can uh, use only the uh, depth of the water level. Uh, and then the other thing we got to take into consideration is we got to figure out what the volume of a cone is so we can add that to the volume of the uh, of the cylinder. And somehow we have to figure out how to get the volume of all four tanks. So what I've done is I've taken all the common information um, and, and, and presented as one tank and then uh, multiply the, the um, the gallons of one tank by four uh, because there's four tanks. So here's how I did that. All right, first of all, we know that the diameter in all four tanks is the same as seven feet. We know that in two tanks, the diameter, the height of the tank is ten feet. And we know that w one of the tanks, the tank is nine feet tall. And in the fourth tank, we know that the uh, tank is uh, 11 feet tall. So we can actually take the nine and 11 and get an average of 10 for those two tanks. And we know the other two tanks are 10. So we can actually consider all four tanks as having 
a 10 foot um, tank height. So that makes it very easy now. We can actually treat everything, um, treat one tank, and then we can multiply them by four by using a tank height of 10 feet. Okay. Um, now as far as the surface area portion of a circular tank, uh, there's actually two ways that we often do this. Uh, one way is to incorporate the uh, diameter into the dimension. The, the other way is to incorporate the radius in the dimension. But since we're given the diameter, uh, I'm going to use the diameter. If you use the diameter, it would be diameter times diameter times 0.785. And that would be the surface area of the tank. If you use the radius, which we're not going to do here, but you could do it, um, that would be the uh, radius times the radius times 3.14. Uh, 3.14 is pi. The 0.785 is the conversion factor if you use diameter. So either way will work, but we're going to use the diameter in this problem. So the diameter times diameter is 0 0.785 times uh, the 10 minus 2, 10 being the uh, height of the tank, 2 being the freeboard, uh, times 7.48, which is the conversion factor from cubic feet to gallons. And we would add to that the uh, tank volume in gallons of the cone. Uh, the only thing we gotta understand about the cone is it would be the same formula as the circ s cylinder, as the circular tank. It's just that the cone is one third the volume uh, of the cylinder tank. So you just simply divide divide that answer by three. So in this case, we got seven times seven times 0.785. Uh, the height of the tank is three feet. We multiply that by 7.48. And the cone's one third, so we divide it by three, and that would be the volume of the cone. And since all tanks um, are the same, based on our one little uh, modification uh, with the tank dimensions, and we simply multiply by four, and that's going to be the gallons. Okay, so let's see how it looks in an Excel spreadsheet. I'll slide this on down a little bit so we can see it. Okay, so now we got the problem, uh, we got the data, we got the formula, and then we got the formula that we're going to put into the spreadsheet, and now we got the Excel spreadsheet. So if you want to put this in an Excel spreadsheet, just open up a blank spreadsheet. You can, for example, put your cursor in cell A1, and you come up to the formula bar, and then you can type in this formula. Now remember, we had taken the uh, volume of the cylinder for one tank in gallons plus the volume of the cone for one tank in gallons and multiply it by four tanks. And that's going to give us the total volume in gallons. So the way we insert this is we have the equal sign. We have two open parentheses. We have the seven multiplication key, seven multiplication key. 0.785 multiplication key open parentheses uh, 10 minus 2 close parentheses multiplication key 7.48 now all that would be the volume in gallons of the cylinder of our tank then we have the plus sign we're going to add the formula to calculate the cone in gallons for one tank and that's going to be two open parentheses 7 multiplication key, 7 multiplication key, 0.785 multiplication key, 3 multiplication key, 7.48 close parentheses. That would be the volume. Uh, if this was a tank cylinder, then we got to divide by 3, so we have the division key and we have the 3 to convert that to a cone, close parentheses, uh, 2 close parentheses. And that would be the volume of one tank. But we need four tanks, so we have multiplication key, open close parentheses with a four inside it, then enter, and then the answer that you see here in A1 um, 
is, is what would appear in A1. Uh, in this case, I have formatted this cell uh, to be a number. Um, I have no decimals, I have a comma, uh, and then I set it up as centered and bold. And you'll get the 10,358. So that would be the total gallons of these four tanks. So um, that's the volume problem. Um, couple other little things that I will provide as, uh, as additional explanation uh, if someone wants to continue to listen because we've spent 10 minutes here and I want to spend a few more minutes with some additional explanation. Um, in this formula here you see where I got the 7 and the 7 and the 0.785 uh, that's actually where I could replace that if I wanted to use the pi r squared so I would take the diameter divided by 2 and that's going to be 3.5 so I could put in 3.5 for the radius times the 3.5 for the radius times the 3.14 uh, and just replace all of that with those numbers and that would give us the uh, same answer as if we used pi r squared um, and you would do the same thing over here on the uh, cylinder portion uh, of the of the problem, so I wanted to uh, point that out, and I also wanted to point out that um, because my um, cylinder is one part of the problem, and then my cone is another part of the problem, I've got everything for the cylinder inside parentheses and everything for the cone inside parentheses. Um, and if you add those two together, if I did not have the times four, then I would have the volume of, of one tank. But then since I want to take the total volume of one tank, and I don't want to multiply it by four, I make sure that that four is outside um, the parentheses of everything else, so that that total result would then be multiplied uh, by 4. And so that's the reason why we've got that in there. Now this is a basic problem that you can use uh, for any uh, volume calculations. Now obviously if we did not have a cone uh, then we could simply uh, take this out, this portion right here, everything uh, from the plus on over. Um, if we only had one tank uh, we could take out this multiplication and the 4 um, and, th and, and that would be a circular tank. Um, now if we had a rectangular or a square tank what we would simply do is, is take this dimension and say the one side of the rectangular or, or the square, this would be the other side of the rectangular or the square and then we'd simply take the 0.785 out of the formula. If we did not have a free board uh, then we would not go 10 minus 2, 2 being a free board we would just simply use whatever the uh, height is that we were given. If you're not given a, if you're only given one dimension for a um, uh, a depth, uh, then we consider that as being the uh, water level uh, of the of the tank. So those are the uh, various deviations um, in in doing uh, volume problems, rectangular, squares, circulars. Uh, uh, cylinders, uh, cylinders plus cones. And one of the little deviation I will add here, if this was a pipe, we could use the same basic formula. We probably would just get rid of all this stuff over here from the plus to the right of that and just use this portion here. And um, what we would do is we would recognize that the diameter of the pipe is expressed in inches and we would have to convert it to a decimal equivalent of a foot. So for example, it was a two inch pipe. We take two divided by 12 and that would end up being 0 0.1667. Now you could actually put that in parentheses. You could actually put, in, instead of the seven, you could put in parentheses two and you can divide it by 12 and that would give you the same answer. So you could actually set that up as a template 
and you could actually use that for your pipe dimensions and then as your uh, depth uh, as, as the uh, depth uh, as the width of the pipe the pipe diameter changed then you simply change it in your in your template um, and then this here would likely be a longer number as it would represent feet and the length of the pipe maybe 200 feet or whatever the number is and then you would simply replace this number here the 10 minus 2 uh, with the um, length of the of the pipe so those are all uh, deviations uh, to these um, various applications of your basic uh, volume calculations for gallons. Now if you only had to uh, express it as cubic feet, you would just simply r not include the uh, multiplication of the 7.48. Uh, that would give you your uh, cubic feet. Um, so you would take everything off from, um, from the uh, 7.48 across. Uh, if you had to do surface area, which sometimes we do, uh, you would just stop off here at this 0 0.785. The 7 times 7 times 0.785 would actually be the uh, surface area of the square feet uh, of the tank. So uh, these are all interesting uh, applications uh, for uh, volume problems. And um, I hope this has been useful and helpful. Uh, we used about 17 minutes. Um, I also would like you to subscribe if you if you if if, if you think this is useful for you. Uh, come back and see my other videos. This is about video number five on uh, wastewater map calculations, and we'll be uh, attempting to add every time. So um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll see you back here soon.